Hey everyone and welcome to VFX Vibe once again. So today's video is a very suggested video or very demanding video because last time I uploaded one video in which I have showed you the way how we can fix white edges and on the basis of that video you have requested me that please put your chroma key footages on a dark background so that we can see how that white edges is looking or how we can fix that white edges so in today's video we are going to see your suggested topic so the topic will be how we can fix white edges if the background is dark so let's jump to screen so here i have a setup in which we can uh, see I have taken a very dark background and here you can see easily I am getting a very very ugly white edges so how you can fix it so basically you need to understand from where this problem is coming so basically it's not a alpha problem it's problem of your de spilling right you need to understand what I mean to see that normally what we do when whenever we are getting white or black edges we are going to fix our alpha but it's not that case your problem is in de spilling so let's see how we can fix that thing so if you want to know the full keying process, I have already made a, a detailed video. You can go, you can check. Probably I can give link to card or I will uh, leave uh, link to descriptions as well. So here uh, my D spilling process is here. So as you can see, I have used key light and in key light, I am having one in green so that I can uh, D spill it. You can use any uh, node as well like D spill madness or kill spill. You can use it anyway. Over here, I have retained my uh, luminance and I plussed it, right? So very first thing, how we can fix our white edges. So what I'm going to do that here, I have a background, right? And in background, as you can see, we have lots of dark patches and lots of bright patches. So intentionally, I uh, took that background. So very first tool, I'm going to multiply my background luminance over my D spill so that edges should match. So how we can do that? I'm going to take a keyer node, very simple. And I'm going to add in my background, pretty simple. And here, as you can see, I'm having my uh, alpha. And now I'm going to take my merge. I'm going to take my merge. And in saturation over here, I'm going to multiply it like this. Just multiply it. So what will happen? Our D spill is going to multiply with my luminance of background so that it will uh, what I can say, it will limit your de-spilling area on the basis of a uh, luminance value of our background. And now after that, I'm going to plus it, right? Pretty simple. So as I'm going to see my output, you can see a difference over here, right? So uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to disable this luminance value. And as you can see, I'm having very prominent white edges but now as you can see my white edges has been almost fixed little i'm getting over here we can fix it uh, uh, manually but as you can see over here i am having a good good white edges fixed by doing this only but as you can see i'm not having a great hair detail and all so how we can fix it so we'll have a different approach for fixing this white edges so as you can see over here, I have my D spilling over here. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to treat my D spill of hair in a different way. So how we can do that again, I'm going to take my key light. If you want, you can use your own uh, node, like not key here. I'm going to take key light. If you want, you can use D spill madness, skill spill, whatever you want. And from this place, I'm going to pick area near my hair let me find out i think this is pretty tricky so i'm going to choose this and after that luminance and my this setup i'm going to take a key mix and i'm going to add it and probably i'm going to add it and to activate my key mix i'm going to use a mask probably 
just hit Z and little bit feather and I'm going to add it in mask. And as you can see over here, suddenly by doing this much only, I am getting my white edges fixed. So although we are having few uh, glitches, but what I'm going to do, I'm going to add a blur node in my roto so that I can blur a little more. Right, something like that. And if you want, if you think that this is pretty bad or something like that, you can go to key light any time and you can start tweaking your this thing little something like that. Although we are having a good uh, result, we can fix this as well. I'm going to in same roto. If you want, we, you can take another key light and you can uh, key it out. And again, you can key mix it. But uh, for the sake of this example, I'm going to take this much area from this and as I'm going to make my mask you can easily see I'm having my white edges fixed so for probably for this this area what I'm going to do I'm going to take another key light probably I can take another key light so again and you need to remember this that we need to animate this roto as per your sequence so I'm going to take my key light over here and just double click it and probably uh, near here I'm going to might be this will be good. Yeah, I'm having good detail over here as well. If you want, you can uh, separate this area as well. You can take another key light and you can key mix it. So same way I'm going to take my key mix control C control V. This will be my A and I'm going to take my Roto and for the sake of this example, I'm going to take all the detail, but you can you can separate all your information, all your hair detail in a separate separate key light that will be good. And again, I'm going to add it and same way I'm going to add another blur node. This will be good and little blur. And now if I'm going to see from this place, you can easily see, but we are not having a good uh, detail because I think we need to separate this part as well. So in key light, I'm going to uh, change few things might be this much. I am getting good result. Probably we need to figure it out. We need to tweak our this area separately and this area separately. But as you can see, if I'm going to disable this, how much area we have cleaned, right? You need to spend some time. Otherwise, what will happen? It won't come perfectly as you can see. Uh, and again, remember the detail is not losing. We are not losing detail, right? If you're going to see, we have all the details, right? So don't worry about details. So might be we can tweak few uh, areas as well, right? Uh, like we can change red little, right? But as you can see from this place, uh, if I'm going to disable it from this place, we are having this result. Can you see that? Little luminance is off, but we can add our luminance back. But as you can see, we are having good detail, hair detail, and we are having uh, white edges fixed. Little problem is here, but we can easily fix it by going to that particular key light and might be we can change the alpha little. Right. So you need to tweak these settings. You need to work on these uh, numbers as well, and probably you can easily fix those problems might be I can see I am having a little white edges over here as well right so how we can fix that white edges don't worry about this edge cut because because I have uh, roto it out so how we can fix that edges lots of lots of uh, techniques are there so what I'm going to do I'm going to take a node called color smear I have already discussed that thing and in this color smear as I'm going to add it everything is going to affect but what I want, I want to affect this much area only. So I'm going to take a roto node and probably I can roto it out and little feather and I'm going to omit. But as you can see, 
this area is visible and apart from that this uh, nothing is visible or it's w working only on the area apart from this uh, mask so uh, what i'm going to do in roton node shape and i'm going to invert it so as you can see over here i am having my this white edges fixed as well right so i think you can go uh, uh, manually as well you if you want to fix this area again you can add roto shape to color smear as well right or you can take color smear or different color smear or you can take a uh, uh, color grading on edges and you can use the way you want but this is the basic thing you need to understand that if you want to add your keyed footage or keyed foreground on a dark background you need to fix your white edges as well and by doing this by multiplying your luminance of background and by doing separate dispel for your affected areas will definitely work so i think this video will help you to understand the process of uh, fixing white edges your problem is not in alpha your problem is in your uh, dispelling so i hope this video will help you and if you think that this video is helping you don't forget to like this video share this video and if you are new to this channel don't forget to subscribe with this said this is vfx vibe signing off have a good day